Good morning. Welcome to Pike Creek Farm. Today I am going to use my new steam canner. I've done the initial test on it and we have grapes in our orchard. First time that we've had them. So I went out yesterday and I picked the grapes and now I am washing them and getting all the good ones off and I am going to make grape juice. It is easy. It is delicious. Come along with me as we make homemade grape juice. I went and picked all the grapes and now I have been washing them. And right now I am picking out all the dried ones and the green ones and the stems. And I am putting the good grapes into this bowl. And then I will give them a last rinse. So it's just a matter of picking off the grapes that we're gonna use. Then you measure a cup and a third into each quart jar and a third a cup of sugar. You don't have to add the sugar now. You can add it when you open it up or you can just have fruit infused water instead of the sweetness of juice. And you can use cranberries, you can use any other berries, you can use grapes. So. I am going to keep picking the grapes and washing them and I'll bring you back for the next step. This is really a quick process. This is the most tedious part. I have the grapes all picked through and washed and ready to go in the jars. And how this works is I put cup and a half in each jar and then I fill it up and, and I put, I'm going to put a third a cup of sugar and you can put more or less sugar and then fill it up to the half inch mark. Debubble it, put the lids on and put it on my steam canner rack back here. And it has to process for 15 minutes. You can also pressure can these for 10 minutes. And you leave these jars then on your shelf in your pantry for at least 30 days. And then when you want to go use it, you take the lid off and you put a colander and you pour it into the pitcher through the colander and all the skin and seeds are left in the top and all the juice goes through. So the most difficult process was what I just did, picking through all the berries. ready to fill the jars. These jars were heated up and sterilized. So one cup. There's some of the grapes are really big and some aren't as big. Third a cup of sugar. So now we add the water until it's at the half inch mark, half inch head space. I love cranberry juice. I'd like to make some of that too. Deep bubbling to make sure there's no air pockets in there. And I need to add some more water to get it up to the half inch. I'm pretty excited to try the steam canner. Wipe the rim. Put the flat lid on. And then put that on to finger tight. And set it on the rack for the steam canner. to the next jar. The steam canner can fit seven quarts. So I think I have enough for at least that. Third a cup of sugar. Keep 
bubble. I didn't find my normal debubbler fast. This is just a rubber spatula. You don't want to use metal inside. Wipe the rim. Jar number two. So this a lot of grapes. So I'm going to keep filling these and then I will bring you back. Okay, the jars are all on the steam canner. I don't know if you can see in there, but there's a rack and there's water that's up to the level on there. So I'm going to put the lid on now. It's all ready. You can hear it's starting to get ready to boil. It's a quicker process. I feel than bringing the, my big canner, water bath canner, up to a full boil. And you use less water, it's not as heavy. So it came up to the mark it's supposed to reach. And I turned the heat down. It said to turn the heat down so you keep the boiling. You can hear the steam coming out. It's like a old tea kettle. And when the timer goes off, I turn off the heat and leave it for five minutes. That's part of the process, it says. Do not remove that lid for five minutes. Timer just went off. So I'm going to turn off the heat and set the timer for five minutes. And then I can take the lid off. The timer went off and I just removed the lid. So now I have to take these and put them on the counter on a mat. I was worried about it running out of water and it has gone down some. The water level is supposed to be even with the top of the tray. So it's gone down like a quarter inch, but not too much. Here's the final products. The color will deepen as they sit. And when I go to serve this, all I do is put a colander over a pitcher and pour it through there. You can put the jar in the refrigerator ahead of time so the juice is cold. My mom used to put it in Saturday night and Sunday morning. She would pour it through the colander and we'd have grape juice for Sunday morning. Thank you very much for stopping in at Pike Creek Farm. This is Renee and I hope to see you back next time. If you like this video and want to push the like button and if you want to see more canning videos, push the subscribe button. I will be doing more. I do canning year round. It's not just a summertime project for me. Thank you so much for stopping by. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. See you next time at Pike Creek Farm.